Good morning, you're on the shopping show. Most of Joanna Alexander's life revolved around Thank radio. You so much for calling. I'm a second generation broadcaster. And I worked for my father when he owned radio stations. In the late 1990s, Joanna bought into her father's radio stations and became the advertising and sales manager, until a downturn in the economy drastically cut their advertising revenue. People that were spending $500, $1,000, $2,000 a month on advertising, all of a sudden they pulled all of that back or they quit spending money at all on their advertising. And it really crippled the, you know, the income at our, our companies. While other companies had layoffs, Joanna and her family took a different approach. We were going to keep the staff we had and we were going to make sure that they got paid even when we, the ownership, did not. Joanna was a single mother with a young son. Her monthly income was now reduced to a $300 stipend for leading worship at church. She cut spending in every area except one. I had determined in my own life that if I tithed, then my bills would get paid, even if I didn't get paid. And we put all into God's hands. In addition, Joanna joined the 700 Club. I kept feeling God's nudge to begin the process of giving to the 700 Club. So I made the decision to sign up for Pledge Express, and I started at $20 a month. And things really did start turning around, and you could see the hand of God. Joanna says all the bills were paid and not one staff member was laid off. The family eventually sold the radio stations at a healthy profit. It was at that time that I said, Lord, you have to show me what it was that you wanted me to do. And I felt led to open a full service advertising, marketing, and public relations firm. Then Joanna increased her pledge to the 700 Club after reading Pat Robertson's book, The Secret Kingdom. I didn't ask anybody. I didn't ask my bookkeeper. <laughs> I just did it. And things began growing and growing. Joanna's marketing business became so prosperous, she was able to start two more companies. All three are thriving today. When God said, you need to give more, I give more. And He gives more, and I cannot outgive Him. The more I trust Him, the more I see of Him. It's one of those wonderful opportunities to see a holy God, a loving God, take care of me. And He does.